Hi there, my name is Paul from ClickAlgo.com. Um, today's video is a brief overview of the CTrader trading platform. Um, I plan to actually record videos on all the different areas of the CTrader platform regarding trading, charting, automation, and analysis. So there's going to be separate videos going into more detail about all the different features of CTrader. And as it's evolved over time, um, there's a lot of new features that have been added that probably many traders that use the platform are not aware of. If you're new to the CTrader platform, then this is a good video to watch because we're going to show you an overview of how to use it. Now, CTrader was built from the ground up. It's a modern um, trading platform. It uses um, Microsoft C Sharp, which is an industry, industry standard uh, technology uh, for, uh, for software developers. And this technology is used for creating your own automated trading systems or indicators. So you can create your own algorithms or software Software that bolts onto the CTrader platform. And this is why we've built our own ecosystem as well at clickalgo.com. I just drag across. We've got our own ecosystem of trading tools and algorithms and robots and everything, anything you need for the CTrader trading platform. And there's other companies doing it as well. So there's a whole um, ecosystem that's being built around the CTrader trading platform to offer a um, very rich environment of tools that traders really need to use. So the, the, the platform itself. Um, is very good, it's got a lot of features, but as um, the vendors or the ecosystem grows, there's gonna be a lot more tools um, that are available. And right now, um, the amount of customers, be, uh, traders using the platform and the amount of um, development that's going into it right now is, is a big curb gap. There's a lot of people are moving across. So what I'm gonna do first of all, is I'm gonna quickly show you the uh, Spotware website. This is the CTrader Spotware website. So if you're not aware of it, you can actually find out more about the CTrader platform just by going here. You can go to CTrader Overview, and this gives you an overview of the platform and the other things involved. And it's also got uh, trading and charting. Okay, so if you wanna have a read about the trading platform and find out more detail without having to watch videos, um, this would be good for people that don't, do not speak very good English and they can just convert this text into their own language with a translator. It's pretty easy to do, to use. And then you've got the charting as well. So yeah, if you're watching this video and your English isn't so good, or I'm speaking too fast because I know I do, then you might want to have a look at this page here to find out more about the platform, okay? But I'm going to do a hands-on uh, approach to the different features of CTrader and show you how to actually use it. So what I'm going to do first of all is just show this, what you'll see now. This is the CTrader platform. This is version 3.7. Uh, no doubt in the future, they're going to have newer versions um, out there with new different features. So what I'm going to do first of all is just show you um, what you've got. So what you're seeing on the screen here on the left um, is the um, popular markets. Okay, you've got watch lists and all symbols. Now, I'm just going to go through these um, options on the left hand side. You've got trade. So if you click on trade, I'll just click automate and show you what I mean. So that's automated trading. If you click up there, it says trade. This is the top left. If you click on trade, this is where you'll be doing your manual trading. Even though you can drag robots onto this chart, or automated trading systems, I probably wouldn't. I would probably run your automated trading systems on the automate tab. And you can also manual trade as well. But this gives you the option to run uh, semi-automated trading systems and trade at the same time. So you can actually um, do a hybrid of manual trading and run an automated trading system. Okay, so you've got the trade there. And on the left here, you've got watch list. So I'll just click on there. So watch list is where you've got your popular markets and you can keep your eye on them. You've got the sell and buy. You can just click this button here, it will open up a buy position. If you click a button, it'll open up a sell. Because I'm looking at Euro USD. if I click buy now, It'll open up a buy position, it's opened, okay? Um, that's open to position straight away with no stop loss or take profit. You've also got buy limit and sell limit. Now, I don't wanna go into too much detail because I'm gonna do separate videos explaining all this in much more detail, okay? This is just a brief overview. So you've got your symbols, all symbols. So if I click on there, you can just pick any of the symbols you want there, you can scroll down. Um, now that's, so I'm gonna stay in the trade window. So on the trade window, you've got your chart in. So you can open up as many charts as you want. You can pick your charts. OK, you can change your time frame here. And you can use Renko charts. And I'm just going to go back to 15 minutes or 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Now, this is the default view that you see. You've got templates where you can change the actual um, view. So like I said before, this is just a brief overview. I'm not going to go into detail. I'm just going to show you the power of what you can do. You've got uh, trading buttons at the top there, and it shows you um, how many lots you can you can trade with. Down here, you've got your position that's open, tells you all the information. You can also close the position, close all positions. You can reverse position or double the position, so the wrong way around. Um, here, you've got orders, so any pending orders you might have outstanding. Here, you've got history. 
These are historical trades that have closed. You've got your price alerts, transactions, the journal, and CBOT log. Okay, so you've got all the information you need there, and also you've got news here. If I click on there, okay, DJ News. That'll load up in a minute. So, um, and then you click feedback. So this is this chart. You can add indicators on the chart by going under the here and picking up an indicator. So if I go under custom, you can click custom once. Oops, go back to the indicators. So again, you can just pick any of the indicators you want on the chart. So you can attach indicators onto the chart. Um, okay, and on the right hand side here, I'll just come off of that because it's just a brief overview and get rid of that. On the right hand side here, you've got the order. So you can use this window um, to place orders. You can set your quantity, market range, stop loss, add comments and place orders, pretty straightforward. On the DOM, so I'm gonna stay on this window. Here, you've got many uh, options here. I'll just quickly go through them, okay? So you've got your depth of market. So you can view your depth of market. You can minimize it, maximize it. You've got your trading hours for this symbol that are being shown here. You've got the calendar for this symbol. So this will tell you um, the news that are coming up, high impact news or medium impact news. So any news that's coming up for this symbol uh, currently. You've got the symbol information. If you wanna find out the quick view of the information, you've got the inverted rate and you've got your leverage. Okay, that's just the first tab. Second tab, you've got depth of market. It's quite unique with Ctrader. You've got your standard DOM. You've got your price DOM. Oh, that is the price DOM. That's the standard DOM, price DOM and VWAP DOM. Okay, you've got three options there. Now you've got the calendar. So you've got the whole calendar there you can look at next week, um, tomorrow or anything. Then you can pick your symbol for the calendar. Okay, so that's there and you've got other options that you can um, adjust. So this is just the brief overview of the trade window. So this is the trade window. Now again, I'm gonna do videos explaining each and every um, area of here. So about detachable charts and anything, how to trade with it and how to use it. Okay, I'm gonna do that in separate videos. So now I'm gonna quickly go to automate. Now the automate window, uh, I'm just gonna pick one robot somewhere. Um, blah, 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 pick one, ugly smart grid. Okay, so here um, you've got an automate window. Now the automate window is where you'll be running your automated trading systems. Now again, you can do it from the trade window, um, but I would advise doing it from this window because you can see all your parameters being displayed here. And you can drag this around anywhere you wanna go, okay? So on this window, you've got, it's probably more, catered for um, trading than uh, automated system than the other one. So in here, you can go through all your parameters for your trading robot and you can adjust the settings um, and you can run the robot just by clicking the play button there. Um, you can go to back test and you can run a back test. So you can do historical back test of your settings to see how your robot would have performed on historical data. You've got optimization. What this means is that you can run many um, iterations of your robot to try over and over, and there's different settings you can use, um, brute force or, or a genetic algorithm, to actually find the best settings. So optimization will help you find the best settings for your trading robot um, so that you use these settings when you actually run your robot, okay? Uh, you've got the analyze window. So this can analyze your trading. Again, this is just a demo account I'm using for messing about with. There's no real data on here, but this is just to show you how you've performed in your um, trading information and all the rest of it, okay? So, sorry, your trading. Then you've got your settings. So under the settings, you've got your uh, account information. You've got email alerts, uh, just general information. So I can just go through and show you all the different settings you've got, okay? You've got very various settings that you can set up. So that's the Ctrader platform as an overview, okay? I don't wanna go into too much detail. Again, if you wanna find out more, you just go to uh, here, Spotware, and you can find out more about the trading platforms that are written down. If you wanna find out more about who we are, we are a software, we are a software vendor for the Ctrader platform. We offer trading software, a coding service for your um, automated systems or whatever. We've got a knowledge base, which is uh, full on information about how to use uh, this Ctrader platform. Again, how to use our products, and uh, educational help with Forex and other things, okay? And um, oop, go back, I'll just go back to the website. And also we have live chat if you wanna chat to us. So that's just us. Um, but again, this is the Ctrader platform. So what we're gonna do now, or I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna start recording separate videos now. And I'm gonna go into detail on the trade window. I'll start off on this area and I'll go to each and every different type of um, feature of the trading platform and try and explain it to you the best I can. Um, again, like all the charting and drawing tools here, I'm gonna explain that to you and how to trade efficiently and all the different features you've got like um, price targets and the rest. Okay, thank you very much. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up at the bottom because it helps us create more videos for you. Thank you.